Hey guys, welcome to Joy Lee's tutorial on animating uh, backgrounds in your visual novel. Now, animating backgrounds is literally, I mean by animating backgrounds, like earthquakes or maybe water swaying your background to make it look like your character is swimming or maybe just like whooshing, like make it look like it's floating so it makes, makes it look like your character is either flying or is, is falling to her or her or his death kind of grim but okay on a brighter topic let's get started i'm gonna go to my library and i'm gonna go and select my strawberry woods movie clip now i just imported my strawberry woods png file i did it by going to file uh, import and i'm sure you guys know how to do that and about uh, do that by now in another previous video um, I'm now going to go ahead and drag my Strawberry Woods movie clip onto the stage. Doo -doo -doo. Huge file. Ah, that's too big. Okay, it's a little big, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this stage a little bigger too. So let's make this maybe, I'm just going to make it 1,000. I'm going to make this 600. That's a little better. Yeah, that's a little better. It's still too big, but hey, I'll, I'm just going to settle. Okay. So now that we have our movie clip on stage, we're going to, I'm just going to go ahead and convert this into another movie clip. Just go ahead and select it, right click, and convert to symbol. And I'm going to write strawberry woods uh, shake. Shake animation and press OK. Alright, and let's go inside our movie clip. Okay, it's pretty pretty simple, just like any standard new movie clip. One frame, one layer. Um, let's, let's make our tween, let's make our animation. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this 30 frame, 30 frames long. I'm gonna right click on here, make sure the 30th uh, wedge is selected. Right click and do insert frame. Alright, and I'm going to right click and do motion tween. All right, so here is our animation. Now we're not gonna fade it in, we're not gonna fade it out. We're not gonna do anything with the color. I don't think we even need the properties. Instead, we're just going to animate it by hand. So let's, let's keep it, I want, I want my background to end up at the same place after it's done animating. So, and I want, and I want it to loop. So what I'm going to do is just select this frame here. I'm going to right click while that frame is selected. Go to insert keyframe and press all. So whatever you do here in the middle, your, your background movie clip is going to go back to the same place it was at the beginning because I already set the, the keyframe here. So let's, let's start animating it. I'm just going to pull this up and let's test it out. All right, so it went up a little. It looks like it's shaking, but it's going down too slow. So maybe about here, I'm gonna pull it down. All right, let's test it. All right, that looks a little better. Let me do it again, like pull it up. Let's test it. Okay. Let me just pull down one more time. Oops. And I think we're good. Let's test it one last time. Okay, it's shaking. Now, this thing is going to loop. It's going to shake again and again and again and again. You get the idea. So let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, actually, we didn't save our project. It's so-called untitled. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to do background, save it as background animations and press save. Do, 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 do. All right, and I'm going to publish it and see what it looks like. Whoa, look at that. See, our background is animating. So we have our, we have our shaking animation. Let's go ahead and make another animation. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Delete our 
Strawberry Woods Shake Animation. Go back to stage, delete. I'm gonna go ahead, drag another Strawberry Woods movie clip onto our stage here. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and convert this into another new movie clip. So right click, convert to symbol. And let's call this Strawberry Woods. Um, um, let's call it, let's call it float animation and press OK. So I'm going to go inside it again, do the same thing like you did earlier. Click here, 30 frames, right click, going to do um, insert frames. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to do convert, um, create motion tween. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to right click, I'm going to insert keyframe all. So it'll go back to this position after it's finished with the animation. So, okay, let's, let's go ahead and animate it. Instead of making just an up, down, up, down, up, down motion this time, I'm just going to make it a little nice float and then coming up and down and maybe back, back to where it's beginning. So it should go up first. Let's pull this. Well, we want the, we want the sensation that the character is going up, right? So if we want her, want her or him to go up, we should probably pull our background down. So it feels like the character is floating. Let's, let's take a look. Oh, see, it looks like she's floating and then falling back down slightly. Now that's a little too slow, so I'm just going to pull this. She's going to go down, right? So that means the background should go up a little bit more. Mm, not too much. So let's test it. All right, that looks pretty good, but I think that's a little, little jarring. So what I'm going to do is make her slow down at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead, select just one frame, right click, insert keyframe, all. I'm going to select these few frames here in the middle. I'm going to do insert frame. Let's test it. That's still a little, little sharp right there. Let me see where I should change it. Mm, yeah, this is a little, little too sharp. So what I'm going to do is, is go here, insert keyframe all. I'm going to make this beginning slower and maybe let's test it first. All right, that looks a little better. But I want her to slow down, like when she floats up and then she slows down slowly. And then, no, she goes up slow, fast, and then slow again. So let me just insert a keyframe. Insert keyframe all. I'm gonna slow this part down, insert three more frames in here. And this part, I'm gonna take away two frames. So remove frames. And let's test it. All right, that looks like that's, that looks like it's floating. Yeah, that looks pretty much like floating. So let's let's publish it and see what it looks like. All right, see, it's not as shaky. It looks like it's floating a little bit, maybe a little sharp, but that's fine. That's fine for now. And let's say we didn't want to keep on moving. We want her just, we want the background to just float one time and then stop. Well, we're gonna have to do a little, we have to, we're gonna have to tell it stop animating. So all we have to do is make a new layer, go to the last frame, right click, insert blank keyframe. We're gonna go to our actions panel and we are going to write just a little code snippet, so tiny that you probably don't need to type it out ever again. You can just copy paste it. So let me just go ahead and type it out. Doo -doo -doo. A slash, a star, 
and a space, and you can write J, S, enter, enter again, and you're going to write star and another slash. And in the middle between this, we are going to write this and a period or, or dot, and then we're going to write the stop. And then we're going to close it with two parentheses, one, two, and then a semicolon. And that's it. That should stop our that should stop our animated background. So let's test it out. Let's go ahead and test it. Uh, let's publish. Yay! See, it floated one time and it stopped. It stopped. Let's let's refresh it. And see it again. Yay, see, it worked. It flowed just one time. So, so, so this is how you guys can animate your backgrounds. I just did a flow and a shake, but you can do something really crazy. Actually, let's, let's do something really crazy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my strawberry wood shake animation. And I'm gonna make it shake like crazy. Actually, no, what I'm gonna do is shorten this to maybe like 15 frames. So that's like less than a second. So let's let's see what it looks like. Right now, what we have on stage is, is our Strawberry Woods flow animation. I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna drag out the Strawberry Woods shake animation onto stage from the library. Do, do, do. Oh, there you go. And let's press publish. Whoa, look at that, it looks like an earthquake. Oh my goodness, okay. So you guys can make whatever kind of animations you want for your backgrounds. You can do swaying, like really, 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 um, really make it look like uh, your character is swimming in the water, or you could like this, make an earthquake, or you can make it float. You can basically do whatever kind of animation you want. It all, uh, it all depends on how good your animation skills are. So, uh, thanks for watching this video guys and I'm gonna actually put this together uh, with some other some other other tutorials I made earlier into one final video tutorial called putting together a scene and thanks for watching this video tutorial guys and stay tuned for that putting together a scene video tutorial